The Nigerian military, in collaboration with Bridge U.S., a communications company, has unveiled the first and largest indigenous attack drones and bombs in Nigeria and Africa. Bridge U.S., in partnership with the Nigerian Army, demonstrated and unveiled these attack drones and bombs at the company's headquarters in Abuja. <laughs> Defence Staff General Christopher Musa described the initiative as a major milestone in Nigeria's journey towards self-reliance in defence technology and a significant step in strengthening national security capabilities. These force multipliers will play a vital role in enhancing the operational effectiveness of our military and other areas. In a world where the global politics surrounding the procurement of advanced military hardware Particularly, combat drones have become more intricate. Countries that do not produce such solutions are made to face bureaucratic bottlenecks and diplomatic hurdles in acquiring these critical platforms. We are facing such challenges directly. So we know what it means. If you don't produce what you need, you'll be held whenever you need them, even with your money at hand. It is in this context that the indigenous production of unmanned combat area vehicles becomes an invaluable strategic asset. By manufacturing these drones locally, Nigeria reduces its dependence on foreign resources, ensures prompt acquisition, and strengthens its ability to respond swiftly to security threats. I'm sure with the great minds we have, especially with the youths, we can produce something that will be very, very outstanding anywhere in the world. The governor of Plateau. Caleb Muftuang stressed that Nigeria's growth depends on recognizing and patronizing indigenous products as the drones will play a critical role in protecting Nigeria's national sovereignty. Indeed, we have made a mistake as a nation when we allowed non-state actors to acquire capabilities that are almost overwhelming state actors. And it is time to address that disadvantage. We must get to the point where no one operates within our borders with capabilities that compete, not to talk of exceed, those of our, who have been charged with the constitutional responsibility for protecting our national sovereignty. Earlier, the chairman of Bridge U.S., Dr. Bright Ichefu said the drones would quell attacks by insurgent groups who adopt commercial drones for recognizance and attack missions. As you're all aware, insurgent groups such as Boko Haram have adopted commercial drones just recently for reconnaissance and attack missions. These drones have been used to track and also attack our troops. They've been using these drones to coordinate ambushes and execute crude aerial strikes. 